little green reading tip. This is really, really gonna help you, especially on those kind of big braking puts like I've got here. This one is quite a bit off the right-hand side. I've had a quick read of it, big slope up here, so I know it's off the right, but I wanna go up to the hole and show you a little kind of trick or tactic that you can do, which is really gonna help. I'm gonna kind of take the flag out. So I want you to imagine a clock face around the hole. Now you've got 12 on the far side, six on the near side. If this was a straight putt, my ball is gonna go in, hopefully, at six o'clock. But it's not, it's a right to left putt, so it's not gonna enter the hole at that six o'clock position. It's gonna enter somewhere on the right-hand side. So my best guess here would be, this is quite a severe break. I think this is gonna go in at probably something like four o'clock on the clock face. So what I've now got is I've got a new front of the hole, which is four o'clock, and I've also got a new back of the hole based on that. So I can start to see here where my entry point would be. That's really important because then when I walk back to my ball, part of you know, hitting really good putts is being able to see the line, you know, exactly see how that ball's gonna get from where it is to the hole. So now I've got the entry point, I can start to paint this picture on the ground. I can start to visualize this really visible white line across the green creating this curve where my ball goes in at that four o'clock position. It's gonna help me visualize the putt much better. So many golfers that I see would stand here and still see the front of the hole as that six o'clock position. We've just explained why that's not the case. Now I've got the striped golf ball down here. I've already lined this ball up. So I've now placed that golf ball with the stripe along this kind of visible white line that I've got on the ground. And what I can now do is walk in, and as I walk in, I'm always visualizing the whole journey of this putt, seeing it going in at that four o'clock position. So as I walk in, I'm seeing that putt, and I'm now just basically playing to pictures. I'm trying to hit a putt that I've already seen. And as I look up, I'm seeing that white line, and then more importantly, I'm seeing that entry point at four o'clock. Now, I'm just gonna get the speed right. A little pacey, little bit too much pace, but look at the way it's finished right behind the hole. If you have come a little closer, I don't know, we're quite dewy this morning, so I'm not sure you're gonna see the line, but yeah, you can a little bit, you can see the sort of line on the, on the ground here. You can see the pace was a little bit too much, but it was coming in at that sort of four o'clock position. I'm gonna give myself that putt. So great, great little green reading tip. Think about entry points. On breaking putts, it's not gonna be that six o'clock position. If you can reposition the front of the hole, can help you visualize your puts much better.